Today we're gonna look at the Set Power RV 45D cooler. It's a dual zone fridge freezer, and we're gonna give you our first impressions. Quick disclaimer, Set Power did send this cooler to us for review, but these are our own first impressions of it. Quick background regarding us, we've been camping for about 14 years with a travel trailer, which of course has a refrigerator in it. And then in 2020, we built a rooftop tent trailer, which uses a traditional cooler. We have an Arctic one, which is very similar to the Yeti style. Set Power is going to have a combination of uh, having a travel trailer refrigerator and a traditional cooler. Check out the outside of the cooler. On the side here, we got the handles, which are actually spring loaded. So careful, little fingers, but they keep flush flat, uh, not rubber covered or anything like that. The cooler does weigh around 38 pounds, so a little bit heavy. We got our handle for opening the lid, which is really super easy to open come around onto the other side we have our control panel we've got the temperature gauge for both the refrigerator portion and the freezer portion you're up and down for setting the temperatures power button of course and then the max temperature and echo uh, echo mode which is like to save energy this portion down here is where the compressor is so inside the Cooler, there is a step. Let's check out the inside. We have the two zones, which is why it's called a dual zone. We got our larger portion, which is normally used for the refrigerator section. And then a little bit smaller section for freezer, which has a handy basket that comes out. Nice thing about this is you can take the divider out and make it into one large fridge or one large freezer. Inside there's a little guide about what temperatures for certain settings of vegetables, fruits, and so on. An interesting feature about this is the lid can be switched on what side you want to open it. You uh, pull it out. It's a little bit tricky. So you slide it out at a correct angle. You can see the pins here. And so when you take them out, they need to be at a 45 degree angle. The nice feature is when you look on the other side, there's another set. So you can flip your lid, set it correctly in there, slide it down. And now it opens on the other side. It comes with an AC adapter. Obviously this does not plug into the um, fridge itself or the cooler itself. So you have to make sure that you have your DC adapter, which has the plug that goes into the cooler. And this can also actually go into like your cigarette lighter for the car, but it goes in here and then you plug it into the wall. We have our manual, which has some really helpful instructions in it, especially with regarding temperatures and settings comes with a three year warranty on the compressor and a year warranty on the parts. And last but not least, stickers. Let's get it plugged in and we'll show you the controls. And here's the spot where it goes in and right next to it is the 15 amp fuse. And let's turn on the cooler. Right now, they're both apartments are set to 50, or at 51 because it hasn't been chilled yet. So we're gonna go ahead and make them cooler. As you can see the settings, the square one is the freezer portion. And then over here is the step side, which would be considered the fridge part. The compressor just kicked on. So I'm gonna get my microphone down here and see if you can hear it. It's actually pretty quiet. Right now it's drawing 40 watts. We're gonna set our temperatures. We're gonna go ahead and put the cooler down to zero, or that's the freezer portion, which is recommended. And then we're gonna set our refrigerator portion to, they recommend 41, but I think we're gonna set it down to 35, 36. It's flashing because that's our set temperature and then it'll go solid to tell you the temperature it's actually at. 
One thing we noticed is it's cooling down one side at a time. So since this is the initial cool down, it's sucking a lot more power. We're going to take it off of the Jackery and actually plug it into the wall and set a timer and see how long it actually takes to cool down to its set temperature. The nice thing about this cord is it is super, super long. The cooler has reached our temperatures that we had set it to at under an hour. It's now zero in the freezer portion and 36 degrees in the fridge portion. We actually plugged it into the Jackery now. It's currently pulling zero watts because the compressor is not on. And it's actually a little bit cold to the touch. Really neat feature is it does have a built-in light inside. Hopefully one nice thing about having a powered cooler is ice. So we're gonna give it a test and see if we can make some ice. How long does it take to make ice? Freezing water can take from two to five hours. Once the cooler is down to temperature, we will put some ice in the tray in there and check it every half an hour and see how it does. We checked it at the one hour mark and it was starting to form. Here's two hours. We definitely have ice. Here are our overall first impressions. Uh, first off, here's a few things to consider. Yes, it does have this handle, but the outline of it on the other side, which I'm sure they did it for to make it look cool, is not a handle. So you can tend to just think that this is the handle and grab it but in actuality, there's just one handle. We've actually had two instances where we've tried to grab this side and realized that that is not the actual handle. The other thing is that inside there is this step because of course the compressor is underneath here. I think a lot of the refrigerator type coolers probably have this issue, but it's different than what a normal cooler has. One last thing is this is the only color this, this model comes in, so no orange. And of course, you should always have orange. Some of the things that we really liked was the ease of the control panel, nice digital readout, easy to use buttons. The second thing we really like is the size. It's um, a lot shorter than what our Arctic cooler is, um, but the nice feature is that it should have the same amount of size inside to have stuff because we won't be having to worry about having ice inside of it. Another nice feature is it does come with both the AC and the DC adapters, so you don't have to go buy one. And the last thing is that it does not take very long to cool it down, so it's be ready within an hour, fill it up, out you go. I've been excited to try it out this summer in our rooftop tent trailer. Hopefully we'll be making a new slide out from the trailers to store it and have a new kitchen. If you want to learn any more about this set power cooler, we'll have some links in the description below. If you want to find out some more information regarding us, check out our website at exploretrekadventure.com and we'll see you next time.